Hi and welcome to Codestein. This is part 12 of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In this part I'm going to deploy the project to a server. The server is going to run Ubuntu 20.04 and I'm going to use Nginx and GUnicorn to host the Django project. So I've set up a little to-do list. First I'm going to copy the settings.py file so I can have a prod file for this where I can set debug to false and similar. So first I just open up files here, copy all of the contents from settings.py, create a new file and paste it. And if I scroll up and find debug, I can set debug to false. And inside allowed hosts, I can add the IP address to my server, 192.168.137.150. And then the domain for my website, which is coding jobs.com or at least my computer thinks so so then I can save this settings prod.py so this is what I will be using for the server so then I can save this and commit the code to git so if I just stop the server now git add git commit settings files git push. So now all of the code should be on git. And what I need to do now is to go to the server which I have to the right here. And then I need to install the software I need and similar. But I can go back to the to-do list now and set the first one to done. Because I have done this now. I have also committed the code to github. So I can set this to done. Then I can log into the server and create a root folder for the project. The root folder will be coding jobs root. So here I have it. I can say mkdir coding jobs root. Sorry, it's not supposed to be there. It's mkdir slash because it's going to be there. So I say pvd, you see the whole path to the project. Perfect. Then I can set this task to done. And the next thing is to create a user group for coding jobs. So I can have this separate from the other user groups on the server. I can just copy this command, paste it, sudo group add dash dash system, and then the name of the group, which is coding jobs group, and hit enter. So now I have a new group on the server. Then I will set this to done. And I can do the same thing for the user. I can just copy this command. I will explain it in two seconds. Paste it. So sudo user add for adding the user. Dash dash system, which group ID I want to use, which is coding jobs group. Shell, which is the shell I'm running. And then I set the home directory, which is slash coding jobs root. And then the name of the user, which is coding jobs user, and hit enter. So now I also have a new user in the system. Then I can go back here, set this to done, but I need to change the permissions, which is for this root folder. sudo chowner, which is coding jobs user, colon, and then the group, dash, no, period lslarth and then I can see that my user is owning this folder. Perfect. Okay, and next step is to create a new virtual environment. I already created a command here, virtual env, and then the name of the environment, which is the project name, and then the Python version I'm running on the Ubuntu. Hit enter. Then I can go into it and activate it. Source bin activate. And now it's activated. Perfect. Done. I can also create a new folder, mkdir logs, and then I can run the, sorry, I can go back one step, and I can run the chown command again. I can just copy it from up here, and then I say dash r, so it takes all the subfolders as well. Great. 
So now I have a folder for logs inside here, which owns by me. Perfect. And then I can install the requirements. I get this from the local server. So if I just go here and say pip freeze, because I have it activated on the local server, I can copy these four lines, create a new file here, touch requirements.txt, vi requirements, and then I paste it. And then I can install the same packages here as I have locally, barring pip install dash r requirements.txt and hit enter. So now I have the same version of these packages on the server and locally. Perfect. So I can set this to done. And then I can clone the GitHub, no, the Git repository. Git, sorry, I can just paste this. Git clone and then the address, hit enter. And now I have the code here inside coding jobs. Then I can go into it and initialize the database. CD coding jobs, Python manage.py make migrations and python manage py migrate so now we have the database also on the server we don't have any content yet but this can be added later okay so then i can set this to done i can set this to done and then i can install g unicorn burning pip install g unicorn g unicorn is a server for running django but it doesn't serve media files and similar so we'll need to use nginx as well but now i have it installed so i can set this to done before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below then the next step is to create a g unicorn starting script i'm just going to copy this from github and then customize the content so just copy this address. I will add a link to this in the description below. This is from other project I have built on this channel. Just copy all of these files, lines, sorry. Paste them here. And the name of this project is Coding Jobs. Coding Jobs Root. And then the name of the environment and then the name of the project so i can copy this replace here as well because this is the socket file this will be automatically created by nginx or g unicorn the user is coding jobs user and the group is coding jobs group num workers is uh, the number of CPUs you have available, multiply it by 2 and add 1. I only have 1 CPU, so I multiply that by 2 and add 1 and then I get 3. Okay, so then I can replace all gadgets here with coding jobs, settings prod, that is the settings file we created in this video. Coding jobs.wsgi, this is entry points for, for the web server. And that's it. So I can just copy the contents of this file. Go in here. vi dot dot slash bin g unicorn start. And then I paste it here. Save and close. So this is located in the environment bin slash g unicorn start. I'm going to bin and I need to make it possible to run this file. So I say chmod plus x and then gunicorn start. So now I can run this by saying dot slash gunicorn start. And it seems to be working. There's no problem here. Perfect. So I can just stop this. I'm going to use a software called Supervisor to make this running at all time in the background. And if the server crash, Supervisor will restart it for me. But I can go back to the to-do list first and just set 
this to done and then install supervisor I'm going to use apt get install supervisor I already have it installing sorry apt install supervisor okay it's not working now but I already have it installed on my on my Ubuntu so I can just go to cd slash etc supervisor conf and then I need to create a new file here I can get this file by going to github again make a copy of this it's very short just six lines but I can copy these I will add a link the all of these links in the description so you can get them yourself and just paste them here replace soul gadget with coding jobs coding jobs root coding jobs 364 and then a link to the G unicorn start which is just created the user we are going to use and then the path to a logs folder which will log from supervisor perfect so I can copy these six lines go back here create a new file by saying vi coding jobs.conf paste them here save and quit and then I need to update supervisor I do this by saying supervisor ctl update sorry supervisor ctl reread does not exist no, sorry, I think I did something wrong here. Yes, it's supposed to be like this, of course. So I can edit the file again. Like that, reread command, it's available. Supervisor CTL update. And now it's added to the group. And if I say supervisor CTL status, can see here that it's running there starting okay it should have started there now it's running perfect so now we have it running in the background so then I can set this step to done and I can set this to done and then we need to install nginx and you do that by saying apt install nginx but I have already installed it and something is wrong with the dpkg so I'm just going to ignore this for now but you need to run this command and then I can go to slash etc nginx sites available I'm going to create a new file here I'm going to base this on the nginx file from Soul gadgets so I can just go to this URL and make a copy of this go back here paste it and I need to replace a few things here first I create a upstream which is going to link to the socket file which gunicorn starts and creates automatically coding jobs coding jobs root coding job 364 everything there is okay and then the domain name which is codingjobs.com root this will create the nginx access log and I also need the nginx error log like that copy and replace so we can host static and media files using nginx okay like that so now we have set up locations and everything we need to host the media files next is the website I'm using proxy to forward the user to this server which we're creating up here which is a link to the gunicorn server so I just need to replace that and don't save there now copy all of this 
go back to the server say vi coding jobs.conf paste it save and close and then i can make a symbolic link ln dot dot sorry ln dash s dot dot slash sites enabled coding jobs dot conf like that okay sorry i probably did that wrong sites available ln s dot dot slash sites available sorry cd cd sites enabled ln dash s dot dot slash sites available coding jobs coding jobs dot conf okay so now i have it here as well but it's just a symbolic link back to the file we just created and then i can say service nginx restart okay no errors so if we go to the browser now coding jobs dot com i get a bad gateway error okay tail coding jobs coding jobs logs nginx error okay there's a problem here with the permissions probably coding jobs root i can run the Sion, the chown can run this again to change the permissions just hit enter now we restart nginx and i can restart uh, supervisor as well supervisor ctl restart all sorry it's then coding jobs restart sorry for the mess supervisor ctl coding jobs restart making a big mess now restart coding jobs there that's how you do it <laughs> and then i can go back here refresh and now everything seems to be okay perfect can try to sign up code with stein i'm an employer sign up i can try to create a job job one desk code with stein and size one to nine submit perfect perfect everything seems to be working great so now we have deployed it to a live server so now i can go back here set all of these to done and save and that was it for this video i hope you liked it and it wasn't too hard to follow along if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and i answer as soon as i can see you in the next video